Okay, so let's review. The world of websites involves a server in some distant room connected by a whole bunch of wires to all the little loved ones back at home sitting at in front of the TV with their laptop. And what happens is that client computer, that kid sitting in front of the TV with their laptop, sends an HTTP request. And that goes, who the heck knows where it goes, through a whole bunch of wires and through some satellites and, and lots of cables and, and eventually gets to a server. At that point, the server takes that and says, oh, you wanted a page. So it sends an HTML page back to the client through all those wires, somehow routes its way. And at the client machine, it's rendered inside a browser. In other words, the browser says, oh, this is how it's supposed to look, and it makes it look that way. Now, if there's any JavaScript code, it's going to be executed there at the browser. In other words, the server doesn't know whether that Java code was written correctly or incorrectly. It doesn't know if there's a single quotes out of, out of place or a greater than symbol missing or anything. It just gives you what you have on that page and says, you deal with the browser. Now, we're going to change and we're going to get into HTTP requests that also include data. In other words, the web page that we're at is going to have some data that we're going to click a little submit button. And so they're going to make a request for a page, but it's going to be with data sent. And it goes through those same wires and, and the internet and gets out to the server. But at that point, the server use, uses a language such as PHP to process that request. And it does all the computing there at the server. And then it makes the HTT, I'm sorry, the HTML output. And then it sends that HTML output back through the cloud, the bunch of wires, the cables, whatever it takes, the satellites, and it gets it back to the client data, to the browser. That happens, of course, unless PHP has syntax errors. If the code you wrote has a missing quote or a, a missing exclamation point or whatever it needs, you may have a problem, and then it has nothing to send because if it can't run that program, it all stops. And that's when we get what we affectionately know in the business as the white screen of death. But let's assume we don't have that problem. Let's start with a question and an answer. Now the question is going to be uh, an HTML page and the answer is going to be a PHP page just so we can see that. I haven't said what the question is going to be but it's going to be how old are you is essentially the the question and in order to figure that out there's a couple of things we need to know. We need to know uh, what year you were born and we also need to know whether or not you had your birthday yet this year. So what we're going to do is we're going to send that data to get an answer, but in order to do that we have to send it in something that's called a form, a web form. And so it's an HTML page that has a form object on it, a form element, and it goes of course from form to slash form. But we can't just leave it at that, we've got some things to add. For instance, we have to give the form a name, so I'm going to call it the get info form just because I feel like calling it that. And we have to give it an action, in other words, where's all this data going to be sent? Well, this data is going to be sent to a page called answer.php. And there's a couple of ways of sending the data. This method is called the get method. This method is called the get method. And what that's going to do is it's going to send the, the data that you send along with the URL, answer.php. It's going to send it right up there. Well, we're going to write some text like year born, but we've got to put some input for what to, to allow the user to input the year they were born. That requires an input object. And this particular input object is going to be a type equal to text. So it's going to be a little text box in, in essence. And it's going to have to have a name. I'm going to call it year born. It should be a one word name. And I don't have to put a size, but in this case I'm going to put a size equal to 10. I'm just going to say, well, it, it's a little text box that allows for up to 10 characters to be put in there, which doesn't mean only 10, it just means only 10 would display at a time. And I'll throw in a little BR to get to the next line, line break. And then I'm going to ask the question, did you have your birthday yet this year? Now, as you can imagine, there are two options that answer yes or no. And so we're going to create a different type of input 
object, this type is going to be called a radio button, or just type equal radio. Now the name of this button is going to be B day, and it's going to have a value equal to Y in the first case. So that's what the button is going to look like. It's going to encapsulate the letter Y is what's going to be sent. The name of this little button is going to be B day, but it wouldn't make any sense to you unless we add something like the word yes. So you'll see the word yes when you click on that button. You'll, you'll see the word yes next to that button. I'm going to have another button. Now it's also going to be a radio button. And it has to have the same name, B-Day. And of course, only one of these can be active at a time. Either the yes value or the second one will be the no value. Value equal N. So we're going to see the words yes and no. But when we hit submit, it'll send a variable called B-Day and it will have a value of either Y or N. Throw in another line break just to get onto this. And the last thing I'm going to have is a, another input. This one is going to be a type equal submit. Now submit's a special word, it's a special type of input, and it is, in essence, a button. Now when I say value equals get answer, what I'm referring to is what is the button going to say? It's going to say get answer. And that is what my form is going to look like. It's going to say, let me tell you how old you are. I have the year born and a little text box there for me to enter. And it says, do you have your birthday yet this year? And there's a button, and next to it is the word yes, and another button, and next to it is the word no. Those are radio buttons. So once I choose one of them, I'll be able, I can only choose one or the other. If I choose the second one, it'll make the first one deactivated. So that's going to be sent all that data, the B day and the year born, will both be sent to the answer page, answer.php. Answer.php is just a, uh, an HTML page, but it's going to have some special information in it. It's going to have some stuff that's calculated at the server level, and that's the stuff between uh, less than symbol question mark PHP at the beginning and question mark greater than symbol at the end. In that area there is all PHP code, just like we've had script slash script for JavaScript. Well, now we have some PHP code. And instead of document.write like we would have in JavaScript, we're going to say echo. And in double quotes, it says your, your age, followed by a semicolon. All lines in PHP, all complete thoughts end with a semicolon. I put a little BR in there just so it would get to the next line. Now I have a, a dollar sign YB equals. I don't have to do it this way, but I'm going to. I'm going to set up a variable called YB. And it's going to be equal to, look at this spelling, dollar sign underscore get. And then I have two brackets. Those brackets are probably to the right of the letter P, but you don't require a shift key on them. And inside the bracket, I'm going to put two single quotes. And inside of those single quotes is the name of the field, year born. Because that's what I called it on the question page. And so this says, take whatever was sent via the get method, and let's put it into the YB. The, the year born field is now going to be re, renowned as the YB field. So I have a variable called YB. I'm also going to have a variable called B day. You'll notice variables in PHP begin with a dollar sign. So dollar sign B day equals, and it's going to be the same spelling, dollar sign underscore get bracket, single quote, B-Day, single quote, bracket, and of course all thoughts end with a semicolon. So now I have two variables, YB and B-Day. I'm going to create a third variable called this year, and again it begins with a, a dollar sign, and that's going to be date parentheses, not brackets, but parentheses, single quote, capital Y, single quote, parentheses, and again ends with a semicolon. That just happens to be there's a date function in PHP, and it will get me the current year, but the capital Y means it'll give me in four digits, so depending on what year this is. Now, age is another variable. Dollar sign age equals, I'm creating this, this year minus year born, or YB. All right, now that's going to tell me the right answer for most cases. I have to have the if command in order to determine it for certain ones. So if open parentheses, close parentheses, I always have to have that, and I'm going to say if dollar sign B day double equals N, N being in single quotes, so 
In other words, if B day compares to N, then I have to have my open and close curly braces for my if statement. Age equals age minus 1. That's, of course, dollar sign age. So it's going to be one less because you haven't had your, your birthday yet this year. So echo in quotes. Today you are dollar sign age years old. It will know to take that dollar sign age and, and just substitute the, the value of the variable in that phrase. And at that point, we know how old they are. There's one more important thing you need to remember. PHP pages only work if they're on the server, because that's the only place that a server can process them. And that way, if you type in that you were, that it was 1980 was your birth year, and no, you didn't have your birthday, and let's just say, for instance, this was the year 2013, then it would do the calculation 2013 minus 1980, because since you didn't have your birthday, if you didn't, then it would make you 32 years old.